It's 3 a.m. in the cattle cage. The line is long and thick with bodies. You wait. A jibna sandwich with cucumber in a plastic bag clutched in your callous laborer's hand. Your wife prepared your breakfast and your lunch. She was up before you and together you prayed a pre-dawn salat. She kissed your face and said, Allah ma'ak ya habibi. Allah be with you, my love. You kiss the faces of your sleeping babies. You haven't seen them awake in months and you wonder. Has Walid's voice begun to crack yet? Have Wajdad's hips begun to flare? How big was Suraya's smile when she came home with her report card? It's 4 a.m. in the cattle cage. Still, you wait. The line before you is so long, and behind you now it is longer. Few of you speak. You're packed so damn tight that you hold one another upright. You see your own fatigue reflected in the weariness etched on the faces all around you. You look away, pine for a smoke. But who the hell can afford that? You stare at the graffiti beyond the iron bars holding you in, written just for you. Written by Zionist settlers sucking the breath from your lungs. You understand the meaning of their English words, die, sand niggers. Sometimes you pine for that too. It's 5 a.m. in the cattle cage. The soldiers arrive. The line loosens. You take one step forward, propelled by the weight of the bodies behind you. Your jibna sandwich with cucumber in a plastic bag is crushed. It never survives. It's 7 a.m. in the cattle cage. Now is your turn. You produce your papers, unfold, refold, eyes down, heart down, your shoes are down on their luck, but you're out of the line now. Fifteen men before you were pulled aside and you tried not to look, tried not to hear the one yelling, don't hit me. It's 7.30 a.m. on the cattle bus and you ride. The country they stole from you speeds outside your window and you imagine the man you would have been. The man you should have been out there riding the family steed, the thoroughbred mares your grandfather raised and nurtured and loved in a Palestine, unraped, unstolen, it's 8 a.m. You get off the cattle bus. Your crushed jibna sandwich with cucumber in a plastic bag in one hand. Your eyes down, your heart down. You put your toolbox down to knock on the Zionist settler's back door where the help goes. But the Zionist settler boss man yells, Voila! Mishon el Not there today, boy. And all you can do is thank Allah that your wife and your babies are not there to hear them call you Wallah.